You know, a lot of people like to quote Ronald Reagan. I like to quote Michael Quinn Sullivan. Right? Now, only a few of you get that joke, right? Because that, that's the kind of guy <clears throat> with Empower Texas that he gets more lightning rods than I do at this point, right? But he said something this week in Greenville that I thought was very, very important and very telling. He said that the candidates that are running truthful campaigns get the truth discount when it comes to campaign funding. Meaning that if you're a candidate and you just tell the truth, you don't have to spend as much money to cover all the lies, right? Then that is true in all these campaigns that we find here with our, our patriots. Because what we're trying to do is simply get the information out about who we are, what we stand for, and what we will do for them when we begin serving the great people of this county. Now, as a candidate, <laughs> I had no idea really, and some, we have a lot of veterans here that have run campaigns for many years. We get so distracted by all the other rhetoric around us that we start chasing down other folks with voter guides just to put our voter guide in their hand. And we easily lose track of who we are and what we're doing here. We are the patriots of this county. We are the conservatives, and we need to continue to tell that message. So last night I began to think, look, I, I need to start talking to people, voters, about who do you want to elect, not which voter guide you're, you're using. Now, our voter guide, we feel like, we know for a fact, are the most conservative physical and social Republicans in the world because they're right here from Montgomery County, which is an incredibly blessed Republican conservative county. So if we start at the top with the Dan Patrick and work our all the way down to Christian and we work our all the way down to the, to the, 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 the bottom of the ticket in our race, every one of these men represent who we are, true patriot conservatives. And that's the message that I've been trying to get out to our folks as we're going through these parking lots chasing these folks down. Who do you want? Do you want someone that is continuing to try to shade the truth because they have to, because they don't have the background or the experience or they don't have the, the ability to truly project a, a true conservative candidate? They don't. And so what I'm continuing to do, and I encourage all of us to continue to do, stay focused on the goal, and that is to continue to get our message out in this election and every upcoming election, because if you were with us last spring when we were in Austin, as a team, as conservatives, as patriots, fighting against the liberal mindset and the ideologies that are, that's coming to Texas, you began to get fired up saying, no longer can we kind of, we can play nice, we can certainly be respectful, but we have to elect warriors today. We have to elect warriors locally here in this county, and we see that with Mark. Uh, just in this county judge race, we can see what's happening there. We have to fight for our values, but we have truth on our side, and we have experience, and we've shown the people who we can be, and that's the message we want to continue to get out. And I, I like the power of prayer, right? Because I know as this group, we are all praying for each other. We're encouraging each other. We're sending emails. I was telling, uh, who was it, a few, a few minutes that this came up, uh, yeah, Rob Harmon. Rob, I've been, I've been getting Rob votes every day because people ask me, who, who should we vote for? And that's who we are as brothers and sisters here. Under, under that Christian faith, we know that we can support each other because we believe in each other. And we know what each, each person in this, on this uh, ballot can do. So we, we ask you to continue to pray, continue to support, continue to give us three more days, today, tomorrow, and next Tuesday, because we all know that next Tuesday night we want to be celebrating in many locations, but we're going to celebrate as true Tea Party patriots. Thank you so much.